I was flattered and insulted all at the same time. Hi Donnies, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I am disabled and I'm stuck in the house. So with that said, please help the disabled watch my fables so I don't have to beg you. And also please subscribe because I will be ever so grateful. I thank you all who tunes in to watch me every week. Thank you. So this story has some touchy moments, but anyway, this story is about the time <laughs> How was homeless and this guy? Where do I begin with this story? Um, it was after my mother passed and basically I couldn't stay in her apartment any longer because I wasn't on a lease. It was like the day before we were discussing, oh, I need to put my name on the lease so I can live with her because she was ill. But then she passed away and um, about a month later, the apartment found out that my mom's no longer living. And so basically I had to go. That, in turn, made me homeless. Well, I was homeless, I did have a job, but then I ended up sleeping in my car while I find a place to live. I kind of, During that time, I felt like Will Smith, I wish I remember the real man's name, I'll put it across the screen, but I felt like that movie, Pursuit of Happiness, it was like I have a job, but I have no home. And it was just topsy-turvy, plus my mom had just passed about a month prior, so I was just dealing with a lot. But the only thing I was focused on was surviving and finding shelter. That was my focus at that time. Now some may ask, well how did you go to work and live in your car? When did you wash up? Well let me tell you how I worked that out. How I worked that out, it was either <laughs> go down the street at the jack-in-the-box from where my car was parked to wash up or every now and then I had a guy friend who lived in an apartment that had a gym and the gym had a shower so since I had a car I would drive to his house and take not his house but drive to his apartment use the shower in the gym so I can be fresh and clean you know you can only go so long <laughs> without you know starting to reek Anywho, that's not what we're talking about. I'll save that for another day as long as well as the trauma of how my mother died. But that's not for this video. We're talking about how I was homeless and this guy. Let's talk about the guy. So in the meantime, while I'm homeless during, after work, because I worked early in the morning, so I had a lot of time after work where I could go look for, um, I didn't necessarily want an apartment. Because I did have an apartment and I had to quickly leave because they that apartment came with things that wasn't paying rent. So I had to go. <clears throat> so since that last fiasco, I was like, OK, I don't want to live in an apartment. I want to find like mother-in-law type houses, you know, the houses that are in back of houses. That's the kind of um, house I was looking for, because in my mind, you know, L.A. is so full of roaches. In my mind, I was like, well, if I live in my own unit where no one's on top of me, no one's beside me, no one's below me, then I wouldn't have to deal with the roaches. And if I had roaches, then that was because of me and not because of my next door neighbors. And sister girl does not do roaches. So I think it was one Saturday I found this one house, even though it wasn't a back house, it, I think the guy... I think he <laughs> turned two houses into um, like apartments. So there was this house in the front and one side he was written out and the other side was already rented. And so I was looking at the house. It was on 54th and somewhere in the hood. I can't even remember. I know it was past Central. Was it San Pedro? I don't remember where it was. Anywho. So when I first looked at the house, I was like, okay, this may work. I can get all my mother's stuff in here and yada, yada, yada. I sh and, um, but the only problem with the house is the people across the street plays their, what do you call it? Madarachi music. And not the good time. You know, there's some Latin music I can get with, but that one just, 
It's like a nail on the chalkboard is so annoying. Anyway, he had told me that they play this music all day and this is something I would have to consider. I was telling him, okay, I have to consider that. And I also told him the story about my mom just passing away and I'm pretty much homeless and I'm thinking about staying at this hostel for a week. And I don't know, the hostel thing didn't work out too well either. They, they had friends as well. Um, so I had told the gentleman, I was like, okay, give me till Friday to make my decision. Now I know I shouldn't have said that, but Hey, I, Remember, I wasn't in my right mind. My mother had just died and I'm trying to find somewhere to live. I don't have time to think about lot, uh, logistics at the moment. I was just like, I need shelter. <laughs> so Thursday came and I decided, okay, I am going to take it because, you know, trying to look for a house, it, it was just too much, too much going on. So I called him Thursday after I got off work. And he told me he had already rented out the house because business is business. And yes, I was hurt, but hey, I guess business is business. Then the man said, <laughs> then the man said, but you know, I kind of want you to move in with me. Okay, I met you on one day. Two, you live with your mama. Because, so he wanted me to move in with him because he found me very attractive. And he wanted to help me out. Doesn't that sound like a pimp? Just saying. Now, mind you, since I wasn't in my right mind at this time, I was... Flattered and insulted all at the same time. How dare you tell me you want me to move in with you and your mama because you find me attractive. How selfish are you? Here I am trying to deal with my mother's death and I'm homeless and all you care about is what between your legs. Boy. <laughs> now the reason why... <laughs> The reason why I was flattered, because he was fine. <laughs> he had like these nice muscles and a nice chest and what have you. But my motto has always been, yeah, you're fine, but what else can you do? Because I can't just look at you all day long. You got to do something. So I kindly declined the offer. And while we were discussing this on the phone, he was like, well, maybe we can go out for drinks or something like that. And I was like, well, I don't drink. He's like, okay, well, how about soda? Are we in the 1950s? Is there a soda shop somewhere that I don't know about? I can get my, you know, saddle oxfords and bobby socks and poodle skirt if we go into the soda shop. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all can't stop laughing because... The more I talk about it, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> and my dumb self was like, okay, sure, we can go out for soda. You can't at least go, we can't go to the coffee shop. You can't give me a scone and some coffee, but we'll get some soda. <laughs> well, after that conversation, he didn't keep in touch and I didn't really think about it because, as you know, I'm trying to find a place to live. I don't have time to worry about some man who all he worried about will sit between his legs. I, plus, my past relationship has taught me so much of what not to do. So I think it was like a couple weeks later, he finally called and we talked about an hour. He was telling about his childhood life. And, you know, I'm actually listening for clues to find out how crazy he is while he's telling me about his upbringing. And then we talked for an hour and he's like, oh, we must really like each other because we've been on the phone for a whole hour. Uh-huh, sure. It's called investigation. 
I'm investigating to see what and who you are, especially since you want me to move in with you and your mama. I don't know your mama. I don't even know you, but you still talking about you should have moved in with me, boy. Well, after that conversation, he went ghost again. And by this time, I did find a place to live. So I still wasn't thinking about him because I'm like, shelter is my number one priority. I need, I need a roof over my head. Plus, it's about to be winter. I'm not trying to be out in the street in the middle of the rain, trying to go places to find somewhere to wash up and bathe and yada, yada, yada. I need shelter. So, yes, I have found shelter. Let me gather my thoughts on what I'm about to tell you next. It's Sunday morning. I'm getting dressed to go to church. I turn on my phone or look at my phone and I see that I had a text. The text came in on a Saturday evening at 11 p.m. And it just said W.Y.D. Now, at that time, I had no clue what W.Y.D. meant. But what I did know is that, one, you're not going to text me after going ghost for three weeks. Two, it's Saturday at 11 p.m., and I'm not responding to that text. Three, I'm not waiting by the phone just waiting on you for three weeks to respond to me. Who? What and do you think I am? I believe because I didn't respond to that text that he came to his senses somewhat. Monday morning, I think about 9 a.m. or 10, he texts, good morning, how are you doing? I guess he decided, oh, maybe this is not the one to play games with. So this was back in 2015 <laughs> when everybody was like, Hi, bye Felicia, bye Felicia. And at that time, I don't think everybody knew where, where the saying came from, but I, I internalized that, right? The whole bye Felicia and people still saying it now. But anyway, it was 2015 when it was on the rise of this bye Felicia uh, phrase. When I received his text, I text back. You are too old to be playing these games. Bye, Craig. <laughs> and his response was, who's Craig? <laughs> and I was like, you, it's a saying. And he responded back. Okay. And that was the last of that. Because as you guys know from my previous relationships, I knew this was not going to work. I, I, I mean, I'm in my early 40s. I didn't have time to play little childish games we play when well, we're teenagers in early 20s. So, who? And you still live with your mama. Donnie's. Remember to toast a life because it makes for a great story. And Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, and check to receive all notifications.